Hello there, uh, welcome to Snooker Pro Tips. Uh, I received an email uh, regarding the breakoff shot. Uh, I know one's already been done on YouTube by a certain contributor. Uh, he also put on other breakoff shots on there. I think four breakoff shots. A uh, couple of them are just for show. They're not worth even worrying about, to be honest. Uh, they're more exhibition breakoffs than anything else. Uh, the one he's, uh, he's missed two or three off there. There's the six cushion breakoff. Uh, which he hasn't put on there, probably doesn't know about. Uh, he's smashing the balls all together all over the table. That's another break off if you want to call it a break off, but like a, a pool break off. Or even one of Steve Davis actually did a ranking tournament, which was just drop the white into the back of the pack. I suppose that's a break off as well. Uh, so, but what I'm going to show you is roughly just two break offs. If it is an absolute beginner, you want it nice and simple, you don't want to be trying to break off. A professional break off is what is what most people call it because it wants a little bit of practice when you when you're practicing but if it is you're playing matches and you're not quite comfortable with your break off because you're a beginner or you're just not comfortable with it in general then we'll keep it quite simple and all we're going to do is put the white there just nice and close to the brown the reason is we want to try and line it up with the end red on the pack we don't want it coming over this far because now we're hitting into the pack and not away from the pack uh, so really speaking where we want the white is sort of in this area around there you can also do it from the other side of the table if you wish depending on which way you want to play it but there's quite a simple one now just a, a break for the absolute beginner who's not hasn't been playing very long quite simple center the white and we're just going to hit the red on the end quarter ball See there now, we split the balls nicely, and we've got a nice cue ball, nice on the back rail here. And you can see there, although we've left the red sticking out, we're taking it the they're both the same standard, so that there actually is quite a good break. And you can see there I've done nothing special with it, and all I've done is just clipped it and brought it down, quarter ball, middle of the white, and that's the result. So that's a, a break there for an absolute beginner player. So now what we're taking now, you've just gone that little bit further, you know, advancing as a player, so now obviously you want a better break-off shot. So now we'll play the break-off shot that you see on the television, and you see the pros play. And I'll explain it to you. Now, as you might have watched already with the uh, Snooker Pro Tips, I've done a little clip uh, concerning advanced side. Now this is where now when I said to you about certain shots we play in the game this is one of them. The break off shot believe it or not where we use just that little bit of advanced side just so as we, th we can now swing the white around the cushions and get it safe. So there we go now with the break off shot. So the area we, we're looking to actually when we do break off is around the green area. And by that I mean if we imagine a line coming straight through the green, there, this is where we're looking to get the white on, on the cushion, in this sort of area. Why, I will explain to you after. But just for now, I mean a break off, I'm trying to get the white in this area. So it's 4 to 5 o'clock on the cue ball, same place I hit on the red the last time when I was keeping it nice and simple. See now we're just swinging this round nicely. Here it comes. And you can see now I'm nicely on this green line. And you can see there now actually I've now covered everything. Now in the ideal world what we need is the cue ball in this position. And what you will find is now that if we can get the cue ball in that position, that's the perfect break off. Why is it the perfect break off? Because as you can see there, the brown is covering the, the far corner and the green is covering that far corner. That is actually the perfect break off. Because if any reds do go towards the corner pocket there, they're going to be covered by those. So what I'm going to do is just set it up once more and what I'm going to do is see if I can get that break off so we can actually see. If it is now 
applied to a certain standard, anywhere on the bottom rail there will be a very good break off because it still wants some potting if you're leaving long reds. So we're going to set up again, and what I'm going to try and do is just get it in this spot now where the white is, if I can. It's not an exact science, you can't get there every single shot, but that's the area you're looking to, and that's where you're trying to win. So same again, four to five o'clock. Swing it round. And this isn't too far away. So as you can see there now, although I'm not on the rail there, I may have left, I still haven't left anything, I've still broke off nicely, but what I've done is I've actually covered that pocket. Now the reason that's a good shot is because of the side of the pack I'm hitting, reds are actually going towards that pocket. So now if any reds did go towards that pocket because I'm hitting the opposite side of the pack, I've got that pocket covered there with the green ball. But as you can see there now, I'm nicely positioned. So basically that's the break off shot in general. Uh, it's been Snooker Pro Tips. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please send them. Uh, if you have any emails about any questions you want to see, please ask. Uh, and also, with this, with all the clips I do, I explain fully what you're getting out of it and what's going to happen when you play it. Uh, on certain other clips from another com contributor, he just does it and he doesn't tell you what you gain or what you're after or why. And that's the difference between a good coach and an armchair coach. So this has been Snooker Pro Tips. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you.